Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on how to load and use as well graphic styles into Illustrator. I'm using 221, but you also you can do it 2019, 2020, etc. So first thing to do, what is a graphic style? Well, this is a graphic style just added to a very basic shape, but you can add it to all kinds of different shapes. You can add it to text and many other designs as well. Obviously, just not a rectangle. So I'm just going to remove that so you can see there. I can quickly show a star. Let's just add a quick star. And you've got your basic design there, but you can select very quickly graphic style. And there's a whole range of graphic styles there. So how do you install them? How do you load them? Well, the first thing to do, let's just go over to my finder. And the key thing is go to your Adobe Illustrator 2021 or 2020, whatever it is. Normally it's in like applications folder if you're on the Mac or program files on a, on a PC. What you can then do is once you go into that, you can find presets and then en underscore gb or en underscore us, etc. And then graphic styles. So you can expand that out. And there's where all the files are. All the files here are AI files, standard illustrated files, AI files. And I've just stored them there. Simply copy them in. You could obviously, if you get a load of files, you can find them on the web, obviously. Also ones that you've created yourself simply add them to this folder, the graphic styles folder. Now you might have to enter your password. I certainly have to because it's a protected folder. So it will come up and say, please enter your username and all that sort of stuff. So you might have to do the same. I don't know. So once you put them in the graphic styles and you can see obviously you've got swatches, you've got all the other ones there, symbols, but graphic styles. Once you've done that, you can go back to Illustrator and what I can see is Here's the graphic styles panel. You can find that in window and graphic styles. And you've got all, you go down the bottom here, there's a little pop there, and you've got all those star files. They're all the ones that are in that folder. All of those there. So mix styles, you just select it, and then it's just opened over here as a separate library. Just a lot standard library. Doesn't open them into the graphic styles panel. You have to go over here. So you've got a shape here. You can click. And as soon as you do that, what happens, it's added to your graphic styles. So you go through there and you can just quickly add, you can go through a whole load of different designs. You can see there, and they're all in here now, the graphic styles. You can see them, you can remove them, of course. You can always delete them at any point. Simply go down here and delete them. But there's also other ways of loading it. You can also go to window and go down here and graphic styles here. There's graphic styles there. Also, right side menu there, open library. There's about four or five different, there's a load of ways to load them into Illustrator. But as long as they're in that folder, you will find them very quickly there. Also, if you're not keeping them in that folder, what you can do, you've got other library down here. So you can just go down to this other library and then you can browse for the AI files. They're all AI files, as soon as you browse, but it's a bit limited because you can only select one AI file which is slightly annoying. You can't select multiple ones and open multiple at the same time. Don't know why, because quite a lot of applications now seem to support it. In many ways, it would be lovely to see Illustrator update their uh, presets to a bit like Photoshop. It'd be nice like the brushes, gradients, where you've got more split into libraries. They might do that. Who knows? It'd be a really nice feature if they did. So you've got the graphic style. Once you've got the graphic style, simply apply it like that. Well, what you can also do, of course, you, really, you can also use type and other things, of course, other shapes and that. Create shape there, just quickly curve to tool. And you can see a design there. And you can see quickly add there and then select some more. And there's literally thousands and thousands of different designs. Now these ones that I'm using, these are GX files. These are graphic extras ones. And I'm gonna put the link on my, obviously on the channel where you can find these if you wanna purchase them. They're obviously, they're not free. I have got a selection of free styles, which also are available on the Graphic Extras website as well. You can find those as well on there. But there's also this 4,000 collection of styles, whole loads of different designs. So you've got that. Uh, let's just quickly go into, you can only select them, you can't select them from over here. You can select them down there. So like pattern styles, let's just go for that one. It's just a whole load of pattern, random pattern designs. And then, Another one there. And you can actually scroll through them as well. If they're in that, then you can just, this is quite much nicer in many ways. You can actually go through it, simply run through. 
especially if you've got them grouped in a particular way that you want, you can actually just scroll through. These are going through, through all of the style files, the libraries. So you can just see the different sets there. And again, simple as that, click there. And sometimes it's quick. Obviously, some of these have quite a bit of, uh, let's just apply it. Yeah, there it goes. Now, quite a lot are quite complex. So if you want to see the actual underlying structure of it, well, let's just go for a slightly different one than that. Let's go for a gradient one. So that's there. What you can do, window and appearance. So appearance, panel, and sometimes some of these ones have got a lot more than this. This has only got three fills. And they're made up of gradients. You've got opacities, overlay, and you can always change them. So if you decide, you know what, I don't want that, you can always bring up the transparency there, overlay, you can turn around and say, you know what, let's go for difference. We'll darken. So you've got that set of designs where well, you can also change them in thousands of different ways. And also what you can do, of course, you can go over here to the gradient tool and you can manipulate them. And of course, you can add your own as well. You can see it's made up of quite a lot of different designs and you can select different ones there and you can remove them as well. So if you want to, simply remove. You can see the underline there. Bring them back as well, would help. Go okay, like that. And you can move that around, change it around. And you can create a whole variety of different designs. Let's just go for another one. So you can see the design there and then simply go down and select and then you can modify it again. Quite a lot of these are made up from grains, but quite a few also like scribble ones. So let's just go, let's just go appearance, let's go down there, and let's just go through and find, oh, 3D styles. So 3D styles. Now, one thing with styles is sometimes they do take a few seconds to load. They're not the quickest to load because that's to load a lot of different effects. So you see, it'll take a bit of time to process that. Oh, there it is. And you can simply click there. You can see very quickly, create some nice 3D designs. And go through a load of different designs there. And of course, you can use this again with any type of path. So if you've got over here, let's just remove that, remove that, use the star, and you can click there. And that can be created instead. Some take a few minutes to process, <laughs> a few seconds. They're quite complex designs. There's lots of different uh, 3D effects. So they're not the quickest of 3D effects, unfortunately. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials about Illustrator, Photoshop, Affinity Photo, and many, many other. Oh, it's just finished there. Other applications. Also, please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Also, please check out the Graphic Extras website. Got hundreds and hundreds of brilliant tutorials on there. Loads and loads of ones. Some that match the tutorials I do on YouTube, but also many others that I'm still sort of building up both sides of with Graphic Extras. Also, any comments, always appreciated. Any comments, things you didn't understand, please let me know. Also, dislike or like. Thank you much.